Hi everyone, it's Natalie here. Welcome to my channel. Um, and this is the weekly Mo Divination reading. So I missed the full moon, not because I didn't do a divination, but because um, it ended up being really complex. And in terms of trying to get the video uh, edited and put out, there just wasn't the time. So um, that's something I need to think about a lot more in future, but sometimes the divinations that come through are just heavy, and there's a lot, um, and there was with this one. So basically what I'm going to share with you is this. Uh, what the, the energy coming through that is leaving us from the time of the full moon that's being severed, cut away, etc., is not Tsa. And it's the... Um, it's this energy that we have of the, the scattered mountain of sand. So it's been with us for a few weeks now. Um, this has been coming up, you know, here and there for over a month. And this kind of energy is exhausting. It's like put, it's spinning your wheels. It's putting all of this effort towards things that just don't seem to come to fruition or which start to be built and then kind of just, you know, further away. So just know that this is an energy that's on its way out. Uh, that was the most clear thing I could tell you about that divination. Um, when I saw Manjushri appear during that divination, it was really interesting because he was really fierce. And yet, um, it's hard to even explain. He did some things that I didn't, I've never seen before, which is weird. Again, hard to explain, but then, you know, there's the learning that goes on with this process that's been really... Um, Humbling, really, really humbling, uh, because I don't, I don't always understand what it is that's coming through, uh, or how to interpret it. And then I'll see the card, and relate to what what I saw before, and that somehow the combination of the two things, you know, what I see in the in the um, preparation for the divination, along with drawing the the uh, throwing the dice as, as well. So, yeah. So this energy is on its way out. So where we've seen it kind of ch uh, chipping away at friendships, at relationships, at um, goals, efforts, etc., that's being replaced with something new. Okay, and um, this is is a kind of is a dwindling energy that we can expect to see lessen. It's still a little bit with us, um, but not like it was. Not like it was. It's not sort of underpinning everything we do. Last week. We had uh, Padi, the nectar-like medicine. So this is an energy that started to come in at the beginning of last week, which really feels to me like it's replacing the uh, scattered mountain of sand. This is, um, yeah, yeah. It's it's increasing. Um, yeah, called the gathering of the clouds of the essence of gold. It's, it's, it's increasing abundance. It's increasing um, really peaceful abundance, gentle abundance, um, things that are accumulated gradually but gently. Yeah, um, positive things that are on the increase. Sometimes an increase in water. Certainly where I am right now, we've had that increase in water this week as well. There's been a lot of rain, a lot of cloud, you know, clouds, cloudiness, thunderstorms, a little bit of flooding here and there. So yeah, we've definitely felt that here. Okay, so that said, let's look at what we're expecting for this week. Do you want some fan? Do you want some fan on you too? Do you want to be able to come in here? Yeah, I've got to turn around carefully. There we go. You turn around. Be there we go. Oh, Mara 
patana di umara patana di umara patana di umara patana di umara patana di All right, so uh, Wonder Doggy has been repositioned and he's happy now. And the fan is more like in the room with us, so there we go. All right, so we want to know for the coming week, which means the 27th of July, or June, woo, hello. Uh, <laughs> the 27th of July through, or June, I did it again. The 27th of June through the 3rd of July. It's not like I'm looking forward to July extra or anything. It's just, okay, yeah, it's weird. So we want to know what are the outer conditions for the coming week, please. <sighs> Interesting. Okay, so they are starting with Ra. That is a new energy. We have not had Ra show up for a while. Um, yeah, definitely a new energy coming through. Definitely a new energy coming through. Yeah, Ra is fire. <laughs> It's like fire and voice and throat and yeah, wow. Okay, so that's the outer conditions. Um, what are the inner conditions, please? <sighs> They're congruous this time, so it's rah, rah. They're congruous, how extraordinary. Yeah, all right, let's see what that entails. Ra, ra. I will withhold from making cheerleading jokes because that's not what we're doing here right now. But I will say that it is an, a challenging thing to overcome at this moment because my mind is very, uh, very active today. Okay. It's just the state of things. Here we go, all right. Okay, it's the one about um, the Haruka throwing butter on a fire. So, rah uh, rah, yeah, adding butter to the burning flames. Woo! Fuel on the fire. So, the horse headed deity, Sri Hayagriva, appears. Then, all activities of power will be accomplished favorably and well. Hmm, this is going to be very interesting to learn more about. Very different than Pa D. Very different. So much, much different. Okay. Very different than the, the wind and the sand, too. Family, property, and life. These will increase well. Also, the beauty of your body will be enhanced. That's nice. I'll take it. I'll take that. That's nice. Um... I think most of us can agree with that being like a nice, that's nice. We'll, we'll take it. All right. Um, maybe it's the, uh, oh, so bad. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I want to talk about like adding, um, you know, tropical sun coconut sniffing suntan lotion and sitting out in the sun, right? I don't know. There's something about that that's in there for me, I guess. Um, maybe a lot of heat too, right? A lot of heat outside. Intentions and aims, these will be quickly accomplished, and you will also hear some clear news concerning them. If you recite the proper number of mantras of any Dakini practice, then your activities will expand and be in sharper focus. Huh, I only have one, maybe two Dakini practices. There's one that's a Chud practice that relies on retinues of Dakinis to appear. But that's interesting because I've been feeling the need to do, to return to my Dakini mandala practice. So, um, 
and, and do that around the things that I'm trying to accomplish. So that's interesting. That's very interesting. So um, any questions about Dakinis? Go ahead and put them in there. I can't say that I can answer all of them, but I know a certain amount and some of their, you know, there's experience, there's experiential um, information that I can offer too. And I can certainly point to good resources about Dakinis. Maybe I'll just do that. Maybe I'll put some of my favorite Dakini references in the, in the box for those who are interested. Um, friends and wealth, any articles which are dry by nature and of a red color will increase. So watch out for those socks in the drawer that are bright red, right? Uh, <laughs> throw them in the dryer and poof, there's like 12 of them all of a sudden. Uh, especially by performing as many power fire rituals as you can do, then your happiness will increase greatly. Huh. So that makes sense to me that things that are of the color of fire or of the nature that they would easily catch fire would would increase under these influences. That does make sense to me. Um, hmm. This is fascinating. I never cease to be fascinated as you know by what I see and by what comes through. That makes sense too because it's like the uh, when I was doing the focused uh, meditation part. It was very quick. The part where I was visualizing Manjushri was like, poof, it was really fast. And I remember, you know, because what I'll do is I'll see Manjushri. He'll come like from a big, I'll make like a big sun in the sky. And then I'll see Manjushri come out of that sun, holding his, you know, wielding his, his sword. Here he is, you know, like he does. And uh, there's many like ways that he appears like all kinds of different ways, like different, like doesn't always look like this dude, right? Looks like a lot of other dudes as well. Um, various pictures and images of Manjushri that I've taken in over time, right, is is, more, is kind of where that comes from. Um, and then he very quickly, he was like, wow, like this, and then very quickly turned into the syllables and then smooshed up into just that little circle, you know, that dot at the top of the the um, Tibetan looking om, and then uh, turn into a, that bright light went in, turned into a massive sun, and was like really shiny and peaceful and wonderful. So, it, and it was really fast. It was really, really fast. So that makes sense with Ra Ra. Um, Again, I never expected this to be part of the process. I really didn't, but I'm loving it that it is. Um, it's really exciting. Okay, and things that are of a red color. I mean, if you're growing flowers, growing plants, growing beets. I don't know why that occurred to me, but some people might be growing beets. You never know. Um, those will increase. Performing as many power fire rituals. I don't know any power fire rituals from my um, tradition. I really wish I did. <sighs> I'm working on manifesting money and income so that I can return to courses and classes and practices and things that I can learn, you know, from my teachers with. Um, but I'm not in that place right at the moment. I will be. I will be. Mm. Um, let's see. Enemies. Hmm. Though there are no enemies opposing you, if you wish to attack, there will soon be clear news that you'll be able to destroy the enemy through the east or in the center. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. This is where this is where I, I'm we're reminded, right? I'm reminded certainly. There was a point in time where that was the only option. Um that really was the only option. That was all we could do. You know, this is a medieval practice and it is very clearly coming from a medieval time period where invading armies and uh, rivals and so forth were a part of life every day. So, yeah. I'm gonna say, generally speaking, most of my teachers write extensively about the need to overcome uh, aggression and violence 
um, an aggression in all of its forms, right? As sarcasm, as passive aggression, as all of those things. So, you know, while we see that this is the case, since none of us are actually facing any armies, be aware of any people in your life who you view in some respect as an enemy, even if it's not like as an overt, like, I think of this person as my enemy, but you know, that like, geez, Carol, you know, she's always coming up with something to say about things. And I just, that's just so annoying, right? Those are the little things that get us into trouble. Um, I don't know why I thought of the name Carol. Uh, I really don't know where that came from, but anyway, I have an Aunt Carol that I love very much. But it, it's, you know, is that need to, you know, we find people irritating or annoying. We don't need to do anything about that. So be careful. If you're really in a place of feeling empowered, don't become the bully, basically. You don't need to use it for ill. And it's, it can be so easily done. It's so easily done because we're in a bad mood or we have a bad day. Um, or things are under our skin. So we need to be aware of that, I think. Um, good news for your guests. They will arrive soon and their journey will be comfortable. Um, maybe the airlines will get better. Who knows? Although with this aspect, I'm going to say that violence on the airlines is not going to be better for the coming foreseeable future. <sighs> Something to be aware of if you're going to travel, right? Something to be aware of. Be very, very careful. Be mindful of not giving in to those urges if you're going to travel on airlines um, illness in order to cure such diseases as heat blood and contagious diseases you need treatment as well as the performance of rituals other types of diseases will be quickly cured so if your disease or your illness that you are facing or or working with um, is not to do with heat blood or contagions this will be very good you're going to find an easy cure. It'll be quick. Um, yeah, very favorable conditions. Ooh-wee. But uh, that's interesting to me that, you know, if it's if there's fever involved, if there's anything that's to do with the blood, uh, which, you know, most things that are viral or bacterial are, are going to concern the blood and anything contagious, you know, the, the something that has become imminently apparent um, – over the last six weeks, and I haven't, I don't remember if I've talked about it or not. I think I've tried to film some videos about it and then just gave up and decided not to. Uh, not to just, I, it's a hard thing to put out there, right? Because it sounds a little crazy even for a witchy community or community of people that that profess to enjoy talking, talking to spirit and all of that. I will say before I go any further with this, I do, I not only believe in science, I know that it works. <laughs> I know that it's real. Um, I believe in it and trust it so much. So, in fact, that I have gotten both of my vaccinations months ago, and I still mask at work because the Delta variant is really active in in uh, Missouri right now, and all of those things. Right? I do know and trust that science is real. It's eff efficacious. It works, etc. Okay. It's also not perfect because nothing is. Nothing is. And it's become apparent to me since working um, with a, a highly intuitive uh, doctor and healer um, who works like homeopathically and with various different modalities that ultimately when we're looking at disease, they always have an energetic or spiritual component. Okay, there is an entity or a consciousness that is a part of that disease or that illness. And it's become apparent to me as well that you can approach, you know, working with an illness through, um, as we do in the West, through scientific means and still find that it seems somehow really difficult to, to cure, you know, to get rid of. Um, there are parts of the world still, even, thankfully, where the perspective really doesn't include science because science just isn't a part of that perspective. And instead, um, diseases are recognized by the healers and the doctors and the shamans of that particular, you know, shamanic type practitioners of that community, that they are ultimately a spiritual problem um, that has an impact on the body. 
and identifying the consciousness that created, you know, that's attached to or that accompanies that, that illness is what is dealt with first. Because if you can approach that, dealing with the rest of the community and the ways in which they engage or attach with it can be easier to sever or deal with after that point. Um, and that's why I mentioned this. I think it's interesting that I've, I've had some experiences of seeing how that functions um, that were crazy and insane and really left me uh, in a state of like a deer with the, you know, a deer in the headlights. But I, I can't deny that that was the experience. If somebody had told me in theory that that was a thing, I might be like, okay, well, maybe that's an interesting theory. Um, but what I, what I had happen was experiential. And uh, when that stuff comes up and, and shocks you, it, it, is, it is shocking. It is shocking. And yet you can't quite deny what, what you saw or what you witnessed or what occurred, if that makes sense. So, um, you know, if you're someone uh, who, who is dealing with an illness, don't be afraid to reach out to an energy healer. You know, at the same time that you're working on the illness through the doctor, through science. So it's not to say, like, choose one or the other. It's really to say yes and, you know, that, that both are, are necessary and both work. So if you, can, if you can get something from both aspects, why wouldn't you, you know, why wouldn't you do that? So evil spirits, there are no evil spirits attacking you. However, you are engaged in great works which are ill-planned. And so you are experiencing trouble. I can relate to this a little bit. The attendants of the wrathful deities are not pleased with you. So if you make offerings to various types of worldly gods, it will be good. So I'll keep that in mind. I don't have any evil spirits attacking, but my great works are Ill, maybe ill-planned. Anybody else relate to that? Sometimes I'm not always great at the planning. I get so excited. I'm like, let's do this. And then I'm like, oh, no, we're doing this. And I'm not sure exactly where, which way to steer the truck. <laughs> you know, like, it's crazy. So, okay. All right. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, yeah, making offerings to various types of worldly gods. I think we could interpret that in all kinds of ways, right? Hmm. That's fascinating. Okay, spiritual practice. The performance of virtuous deeds and power activities will increase and will be favorable for you. So that might be nice that we may encounter with, you know, a lot of different circumstances in the coming week where um, it's possible to do good things. So we should take advantage of those. Um, lost article. It will be found in a southern or a western direction from where it was lost. So look south southwest and west if you're looking for something that you lost over the coming week um will they come and will the task be accomplished they will be accomplished quickly okay it's interesting i'm going to say that both the answer to both is yes but the way it's written is they will be accomplished quickly and then all remaining matters. All are good, although any activities involving firm objects, earth and water, are very bad. Huh. Involving firm objects. Huh. Not sure what that means. Um, engaging in them would be like water being exhausted through boiling or a summer pond being dried up. Okay. So doing, um, interesting, so doing any practices that involve water, earth, water and earth right now are not, they're just not going to go well. You know, anything that's too solid or too firm, because uh, we're dealing with ether and fire, right? Um, and the fire energy coming through right now is so heavy and thick that it's just going to kind of like evaporate every effort that you make with something involving water or earth or dry the earth out like a like a dust or a turd right um so uh let's see you should rely upon wrathful deities of the lotus family 
uh, or the Padma family, um, and power deities such as Hayagriva and Takiraja. I don't know who Takiraja is. That's interesting. I always have someone new to look up after I get these because I can read about them and read through the book regularly, but you know, you have to kind of tie into a week and a particular series of events to really, for these things to land properly, I think. Um, recite sutras and tantras of Avalokiteshvara, such as Amogapasha. If you depend on power, upon power and wrathful deities, then your purposes will be quickly achieved and you will be happy like a fire that flames up. Fire that flames up. Okay, this prediction is known as increasing the demonstration of joy. Some pretty ecstatic energy. I mean, it's kind of, it's very, it's favorable for fireworks. I'm not a fan of fireworks because they're so violent for animals and uh, plant life and so forth, but it would seem that fireworks are, are favorable. If there's any way uh, of, you know, if, there's, if burning and having fires and fire rituals is something that you like, this is obviously the, really the right week for it. <laughs> so, like, you know, I hope you can have an opportunity to enjoy that because that's beautiful. Um, yeah, cool stuff. So that's, that's it. So this week, you know, throw some butter on the flames. Um, yeah. I'd say, too, I, it doesn't say this in there, but Ra is related, as I said before, to the voice and hearing. So um, working with the voice, singing, chanting, seems like a very uh, fortuitous thing to do. Listening to the Dharma, listening to things that feel empowering or leave us feeling empowering, that too would seem to be a good idea. So there we are. All right, folks, off we go, and I will come back with the tarot for this week. Take care. Bye.